guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we've got the oil pump all fully degreased now and all clean. Now it's time to do an inspection on it to see if we can still reuse the oil pump. So in today's video, we're going to go over how to inspect an oil pump for a B-series non-VTEC. I'll go over the specs with you guys as well. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we've got our disassembled oil pump here. First thing I usually like to check is if it's OEM or not. Now, if it's an OEM uh, oil pump, you will notice that there will be a casting mark here that has some wings and it'll say Yamada. This is definitely not an OEM oil pump, so we know that this has been replaced at some point in time. And now, as we opened up the oil pump, we also inspect these covers, right? So as you can see, there's a little bit of scoring here, but it's something that you cannot even feel. So that's pretty good. But if you feel some deep gouges in this plating, this case, um, then it's probably a good idea to actually start replacing it because the tolerances are probably not so good and it's getting excessive wear. But since this plate is still pretty good, we could start inspecting the inside of this. Now, the first test that we wanna test is the rotor clearance. So this here is the rotor clearance here. So you wanna test basically the inside these. So one side will be butted up against each other like this. And you'll be testing these ends here to see uh, what the clearance is. Now, brand new is between 00, 00, 002 of an inch to 00, 006 of an inch. And if you go beyond that, which is 00, 008 of an inch, it's time to replace the, the oil pump. So if, it, if the gap here is greater than 00, 008 or at 00, 008, it's time to replace it. So let's do a check here. We'll, we'll use the 002 feeler gauge. And that goes through, that's fine. Now let's try 003. And that's really pretty tight. It's not even going through at all. And we could butt it right up against and yep, not going through at all. So based off of that test here, the rotor is in really good shape. It's pretty much practically in brand new shape. So it, like I said, if it exceeds uh, or at 008 of an inch, that's when this is too worn and you have to replace it. All right, the next task guys, we're gonna be checking basically how flat this clearance here, this area here, and we have to use a precision straight edge. So we'll have to hold the precision straight edge down because it is on an angle here. And then with it being held down like this, we gotta check this area for um, clearance. So at brand new, it would be between 002 and 003 of an inch. If it exceeds 006 of an inch, that's when you have to replace it. So let's try 002, see if this goes through. Yep, goes through, let's try 003, and nope, doesn't go through. So based off of that here, we could just hold it lightly so that it's held in place. Yep, 003 doesn't go through. 002 does. So again, that clearance shows that it's in pretty much brand new condition. All right guys, now the final test that we're gonna test on our oil pump is the outer rotor clearance to the housing. So we basically inspect this gap right here to see what the clearance is. Now at brand new, the clearance is between 004 of an inch and 007 of an inch. Now, if you hit 008 of an inch or greater, then it's no good. You got to replace the, um, the oil pump. So let's get out our feeler gauges at 004 and we'll test this. Yeah, it goes through. 005 is pretty tight. 006, yeah, super tight, not even going through. So we could say that that's pretty much in brand new condition. So now we could basically start reassembling everything and back to, back to spec. So I'll have to add some oil on all these little parts and then just reassemble it and we should be good to go. All right guys, we've got our oil pump all completely inspected and we know that it's good to go and we've got it fully reassembled now. Now the bottom bolt here, this is actually at 29 foot pounds and all these individual screws, they're about four foot pounds. Um, I applied a little bit of Loctite on all the screws and the bolt on the bottom here, so to keep it in place. Once it's all set, we're just gonna reassemble it onto the block and we should be good. 
But this is going to be reassembled on a later date. We still have to clean the block. So I'm just going to wrap this up and then put it away for the time being until we get to the reassembling part. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I hope this helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.